I am Lina with Ape Tech Tutorials and today is Pi Day. So happy Pi Day to everybody. We're going to be looking into something very special. I'm going to be looking at three extensions that are part of Scratch 3 but are only for the Raspberry Pi. You cannot find them anywhere else. They are only in the Raspberry Pi itself. So if you have a Raspberry Pi and you have Noob OS on it or Raspbian, one of those OS's you'll be able to access these Raspberry Pi extensions. If you want to learn more, stick around. We're going to go look at them. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us. All right, guys, let's go check them out. All right, now that we have our scratch, let's go ahead and look at those extensions I mentioned earlier that we were going to show you guys. So we have the Raspberry Pi GPIO, the Raspberry Pi Sense Hat, and then we have one here that says Raspberry Pi Simple Electronics. Now this one is really, really, really simple to use. Now let me show you really quickly. It comes with these four blocks, and all you do is click them and then connect them to one of the pins on your Raspberry. So there's 27 pins that you can use. And you can decide what you want it to do depending on the button. Like if you press a button or you release the button. Now this won't be cool to show and I'll show you guys how to use that later. But that requires hardware that I need to go dig up. So I'm going to show you guys the other two. We have this Raspberry Pi GPIO. That again has four blocks here that you can use. And you can use these blocks with any of the other blocks here to create something and control it with your Raspberry Pi. Now the one I want to go into is this Raspberry Pi Sense hat. And I think this one's a really cool one to be looking into because look at what appears with it. An emulator. So it comes with an emulator so you can try your actual programs when you build them. So let's go ahead and move this one out of the way and we're going to play around with those. So let's first look at what we have. We have a display text hello. So I'm assuming that this one displays hello somewhere here on your little screen. This one will display a character. This one will display a specific thing that you make with the LEDs. This one says it will display your sprite, so we should look, we, I'll, I'll be curious to look into that one and see what it actually displays. This one displays the stage. Hmm, interesting. So that means we should probably go get a stage. This one clears the display. This one sets the color of your display. This one sets the background. No, I guess color of... Okay, so if this one sets the color, I guess this one sets the color of your text. Hmm, okay. And this one sets a specific pixel on the display. Okay, we, and then right here, we keep scrolling down, we have, you can set the rotation. And I'm assuming there's a rotation of whatever's being displayed on your screen. So we're going to look into those. I'm just trying to look at them all so you guys can look at them while I'm looking at them too. Then we have one joystick pushed up or down or left right center and let me bring this up here the joystick is right here okay and then this one can be used kind of like those uh, operators where you check if something if joystick push up then do something kind of thing then we have a when shaken and then we have an when when tilted Oh, when tilted, you can tilt it and it would sense that it's being tilted. Now you have this operator, uh, these variables right here that you can use. There's temperature, pressure, humidity, roll, pitch, and yaw. So the three bottom ones are used for navigation. And those would be really cool to figure out what to do with in the future because I would love to know how to use those. I'm learning a little bit about navigation, so I'm kind of trying to get myself more familiar with this terminology. So it'd be cool to look for, to, 
for the future. So now let's go ahead and play with a few of them, especially the sprite one. I want to play and see. Oh, before we try that, let me go and find a stage. Because apparently I can displace the stage. I don't know how it's going to display because it's a... Uh, let's go with the simple one. <laughs> it's a LEDs, tiny little LEDs here. So let's see what it does. So let's go with the flag. Let's go and display our character. So our sprite. Huh. That looks very interesting. Is that supposed to be the cat? I guess it is. Let's go change it to something more simple. So let's go to costumes. Let's change our kitty cat to to what do we have in here? That is simple. Mm, oh, we can do an arrow. We could try the arrow. Or maybe the balloon. Let's try the balloon. Okay, let's get rid of all this stuff. Let's not get rid of the one I need. Let's go back. And let's display the balloon. Ha! <laughs> A pixelated balloon. There you have it. <laughs> okay, so obviously that one tries to display your sprite on the actual little screen here. Let's try to display the stage one. I was so curious on what that actually did. Oh, that is pretty cute. You can kind of see the the hitches here and the balloon I guess that is that might be the balloon and then the sky and then the dirt that is pretty cool all right now that I've finished my curiosity there let's go look at these and what does that one do okay so like I suspected it will displace whatever you type in here into your actual screen here and uh, let's say I want to change the color of that. Let's change the color to uh, let's change it to uh, like that. Okay, magenta. I think. Ooh, that looks nice. So you can see here it changes the color. Now let's try our little thing here let's see let's play that oh uh, what is that oh you know what I think I know what this is this is the Raspberry Pi logo that's quite interesting huh oh let me see I think that is the Raspberry Pi logo so let's try to change the pixels for the leaves so I really don't know where zero zero is but let's try changing that to green and let's put dark green let's see where zero zero is oh, okay so I guess I have to display it first and then change the leaf maybe okay so zero zero starts here so then if that's zero, zero, then this will be one, zero. So, so if my X is one, yep. So if I keep going like that, I can go ahead and create the Raspberry Pi logo with color. And then I want the two. Yep, okay. Let's see, let's try this again, okay. So that's zero, zero, that's one, zero. So that's Y, one, one, X one, Y one. Yep, okay. So I'm just gonna do one more. But you guys can continue playing with this. Uh, let's see. Let's do two. Two. Yep. So you can change the little leaves to actually have the green and the green leaves and then the raspberry into that raspberry color. 
All right, so then, so this one allows us to actually change the LED by themselves. This one changes, I guess, the background. Let's try that. Let's try the background. Uh, light bluish. Wow. Yeah, I did not expect that to happen. Maybe I put the display, the background first like that. And then, yep. So first put the color of what you want your uh, image to be displayed out, this guy, the background, the image, and then the specific LEDs you're changing. So specific pixels. Now rotation, let's try rotation. What does rotation do? Let's say I wanna rotate 180, what does rotation do? Oh. It actually rotates my uh, my raspberry. So that's just a few things you can do with it. We're gonna look more in detail of this stuff so you guys can uh, play around with it. But I just wanna show you guys what awesome extensions we have with Raspberry Pi for Scratch 3. Now a caveat, this does not save on the internet so make sure you guys go to file and then save it on your computer. All right guys. We're done with this for now. Hope you guys liked what you saw. I really like that emulator, how the ability to be able to change your sprites into pixels. Now, obviously, if we made simpler sprites, it might look better, but we're gonna discover all this as we go along and learn more about this tool itself. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Au revoir.